sponsored by EA. With October 31st not too far off, I want to remind you that I have an EA creator code. If you're planning to pre-order Dragon Age The Veilguard or pick up any previous Dragon Age games through the EA app, remember to apply my code UrbanBohemian at checkout. I get a small commission from the purchase, which helps support the channel. Okay, so None Shall Intrude Descent. Uh, this is a prologue. It has the first act of the game. Um, you can see here, um, in this free version, you are able to conquer the first act of Herolon. Will you be able to defeat the Dragon Slayer and secure the first part of the map? What to expect in the full version of the game, uh, access to the entire map, car new cards, talents, and boss mechanics, five new difficulties, weather effects, dynamic combat backgrounds, a custom cosmetic customizable cave for the dragon boss, because we are the boss, we're like the raid boss, uh, mini game nodes, lock nodes, and random merchant events. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I have access to... Okay. Um... So yeah, let's have a look at it. I know it has some elements that I do like, and it has other elements that are interesting, like I don't not always great with turn-based or tile-based, so we'll see how it goes. Okay. Oh, we have a little we have a little like buddy. He's helping us out, little buddy. Mighty one, I know you've been in a deep slumber for decades, but we've been raided! I will slay you, beast, and claim all your loot. Allow me to remind you of the basics. As a dragon, you control fire, earth, and wind cards. Grab and target a fireball to a tile. How do I? Hold on. Oh, I see. Um, I'm actually assigning it to a tile on the board. Notice how the normal tile changed into a charred tile. Each elemental card has unique interactions with tiles. Now grab and target the whirlwind card on that charred tile. Congratulations, you've discovered your first special interaction. Wind can spread charred tiles to nearby tiles. Oh, let's go. Here you can find more information about special interactions you've unlocked. Oh. Oh, I see. So wind and, oh, so we should definitely try to make some combinations. Now, grab a fireball card and launch it on a charred tile. Now you've created a lava tile. A lava tile deals three damage to any enemy standing on it at the end of the turn. Good job. Let's end the turn here as you ran out of cards. The end turn is behind moi. Every enemy hero also plays cards and has a deck. You can check what's the next card they're going to play here. Okay, so they're going to summon four footmen. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Next, you should remember how to inhale and exhale. This should come naturally to you. Okay, everybody. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. Um, Inari Blue, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Use a momentum card to go into the inhale state. Okay, so this card lets me inhale. Exhale card trigger bonus abilities if the inhale state is active. Now use the fire breath card to exhale. Okay, so you can't see it because of it's trying to like show me just this, but there is an exhale um, modifier on the card and exhale says if the in if I'm in inhale state deal double damage and then exit the inhale state so basically as a dragon I have started my breath weapon can I just attack you okay 
As a mighty boss, you change phases as you lose HP. Okay, I love that. Phase two is at 65% HP and phase three is at 30% HP. Hey, Pirate, welcome on in. Uh, when you change phases, you gain an additional attack. You'll learn new boss mechanics and these mechanics will work across different phases. This is all I have to teach you. You'll have to remember everything else on your own. Good luck in your fight against him. Him. Okay, so I gotta kill this dragon slayer. Great. Um, okay, so, so far we know that if I char soil and add fire to it, it creates lava. If I char soil and add wind to it, it's it moves it to four adjacent tiles. So, why don't I just put lava under you? And then let's apply wind here. And end my turn. Okay, you're summoning four footmen. And you're advancing. I don't like that. Uh, your footmen are not going to do well, though. Okay. The next thing the hero is going to do is Thunder Strike, which deals 50 damage to the boss. If the boss has any armor, deals zero damage. I could use some armor. I'm just saying. Well, what happens... Okay, what happens if I apply Earth to it to... Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, if I apply Earth to a Char Tile... Oh, Earth to a Char Tile deals 10 damage. Okay. Should have should have used that better, but that's okay. Um, all right, let's go for momentum. So we're gonna inhale. Fire breath will deal six damage now. Okay, so it does it in a pattern. So let's do that. Okay, the problem is the hero has a lot of armor, which sucks. Okay. Again, if I apply, if I have a charred soil. Okay, if I have charred soil and wind, it will push it around. Am I? I sure am. This is me forgetting how to do literally everything. Uh, this, is a, this game has a long title too, hold on. Uh, none shall intrude descent. Hey, it fixed it. All right. Um, okay, so. I don't know what happens if I apply wind to a tile, so I'm gonna do it. Okay, so it spreads it. Got it. Okay. Uh, did I just enter phase two? That hurt. It's rude. Okay, so I think f entering phase two gives me this bonus of at increasing the attack of cards. So all my cards have higher attack state now. All right. I need to like hit this motherfucker. <laughs> What does an avalanche do? It's just rubble. Okay, so I don't know yet. Yeah, this first battle's not going very well. Um, 
Only because this it's got so much armor. All right, let's apply earth here. Let's inhale. Okay, we can do a fireball just does one just does one. Fire breath is like a cone. So let's do that. Okay, that's got his armor down a little better. What happens if I apply wind here? Anything? Nothing. But it's a wind it's a windy it's a windy tile now. Okay. The Dragon Slayer is about to deal 75 damage to me, so I'm done. Like, you're you're using the Dragon Slayer ability. I'm done, baby. That's it. I mean your minions are gonna die, but I'm dead. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to win that battle, cause wow. All right, so our little our little whelp says, Wel "Welcome to the world map. Let's take our revenge by conquering their lands." Hey, Prelt. Here you can see how many moves you have left before the kingdom hero appears again. That will be the final fight. So I got twelve. Okay. However. Beware, for every five moves you make, they will still send a raid party after you. Conquering full regions should give you hefty rewards. Good luck. Okay, so there's... Okay, so we do have... We have spaces. Um... So there's the Great Kaline, the Black Heel, or Tessence Chosen, uh, Army Size None, Reward. Well, let's go in the middle. I like that as we landed, there was like a there's like a wave that kind of comes out for us. Like that's nice. Um, all right. So we have a little small guy, 50 HP, maybe be able to take this, this out. Let's, let's apply wind to the tile he's on. Let's hit it with the fireball, see what happens. And I already know what happens if I hit... If I hit charred soil with fire, it turns into lava. And if I hit lava with air, I think it's... So let's try something. Let's hit this with a fireball to make it into lava. Let's hit this lava with wind. Oh, AP up. I don't know what that does. Gain plus one action point. Oh! I get more action if I do that. I get a piece of the action, a la Star Trek. All right, well, then let's just attack you, buddy. And I end my turn. Okay, so you're going to cast, you use preparation. That gains you one attack. You're now about to summon a squire, which I don't want you to do. Okay. little pigeons outside um all right let's go ahead and inhale so fire breath will deal six damage if i get it here and that chars more earth um i have avalanche which i could apply to the lava tile if i add earth to lava i don't know what happens yet so now i have to do that so i know what happens Oh, that was nice. I will take that. Okay, so if I add, if I add earth to lava, it deals four damage to the entire row and column. I like that. Um, 
Okay, then let's put a Whirlwind here. And end the turn. Alright, bring your Squire. Whatever. I'm afraid your Squire is going to die. Okay. Okay, you're going to use Shield Up, which gains you four armor, which I don't like because I'm sick of you armoring up, pal. So let me see if I can do something fun here. Um, all right. So if I hit two fireballs to where you're standing, that's gonna that's gonna first hit you for the points, and it's gonna turn to lava. And then if I hit the lava with the air, I'll get another action point so that I can throw another fireball. So let's do this. Fireball. Fireball. Oh, actually, I already had. Okay, I already have another fireball. But I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, that gets me an action point. And then. Fireball. And if I spread that, does that turn that into lava? It does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think Lava deals three damage at the end of the turn. So both of you are gonna take three damage. You will gain four armor, but you're gonna your squire's your squire is in dire there, buddy. Night night. <laughs> okay, you are going to summon one more squire. Cool. I've got to get your armor down now, so why don't I breathe in? Uh, hit you for six. Oh, that was ten because I made the thing. Okay, and let's see here. I just hit you with a fireball. S suck that in. Get away from me. Stop coming closer. I don't appreciate this. Okay, pal, you're going to die anyway because you're standing in lava, so I ain't worried about you at all. Um, we have avalanche, so if I hit, if I hit the tile... Okay, so this is what I have to figure out. I have to figure out... I'm guessing I can do double boulder. All right. Okay. I guess first fireball. Fireball. That makes it lava. Then Avalanche, sorry, nope. Then Whirlwind gives me an action point. Now, Avalanche, if I apply Earth to Lava, I gain five Rage. No, sorry, Earth. Ah, right, Firebomb. Are you in the, ha, <laughs> Firebomb. Oh, well, your Squire's done anyway, then. Um... Is there anything I haven't done that I can do? I've applied air to pretty much everything. I need to get another... Okay, so let me, let me pick a tile over here to apply air to so that I can apply air to it next turn and see what happens. Alright, you're gaining one attack. You hit me! That was rude. That was... That was unacceptable, son. Is there anything I want to do? Because I'm going to take you out. You done pissed me off now. Okay, I do want to see what happens if I put Earth on a Gust tile. So, let's do this first. Breathe in. Okay, so that just spreads the rubble out. Got it. Okay, well, let's do this and unfortunately I can't oh you are gonna summon a squire so you're not gonna attack good 
So I'll get one more chance to take you out. Oh, no, you still hit me. Rude. All right. Okay, so in five turns, you're going to summon royal guards. Well, I'm not going to let you have those five turns, buddy. You are currently standing on charred soil. I think I will just hit you with a fireball and call it. Do I still have to deal with your squire over here? All right. Anybody else? Nope. All right, claim your rewards. So I get to add a card to my deck. And I like that it gives you the option to skip because maybe, maybe you don't like these cards. But... I don't know what this means, and I'm curious. Unleash three fire beams to three random rows, but it has a combo ability that reduces its cost to one AP. So now I need to figure out how to make the combo happen. Okay, so we have taken the black heel. Um, we can continue, sorry, we've taken a piece of the black heel. We can continue on a medium-sized army or what are you? You're a random event. I gotta know what that is. The Trial of Courage. A fierce symphony demanding sacrifice unfolds before my ancestors' shadows. As the last one standing, I alone withstand the relentless trial. Will the ancestors smile at my victories or punish me for not doing enough? Whispers also hint another way, one close to my greedy heart, loathed by the ancestors. So, I can lose 20 max HP, but gain 2 attack. Or I can lose 300 gold and gain 20 max HP. Let's, let's go with the 2 attack. Or, yeah, because I, yeah, because I can't afford anything else. Oop, another random event. I'm the worst because I love random events. So, we'll be uh, random everything. God's Challenge. A series of divine questions emerges as a challenge from the gods, promising riches in exchange for your answers. The very essence of the celestial quiz beckons, testing your wit and wisdom in the pursuit of untold wealth. Answer the question right and gain 300 gold. How many nodes does Regen the Great Colline have? I don't know because it's my first time playing, so I'm going to guess three. Because it seems like these other ones had three, so... Okay. I won. Somehow. Um, I do need to pay attention because... Every five moves, I get raided. And I am the raid boss. So, I need to start, like, attacking. Um, so let's see what a... It's, it's Halloween season. So let's see what a bugaboo is. Oh crap, you are strong. I have probably made a mistake. But I still didn't see what happens when I put air on top of air, so I'll do that first. Tornado. Tornado pushes the enemy by one tile to a random direction at the end of the turn. Okay. Um. Well, let's... We've got three here, so let's do this. And... This. Okay, so it's interesting. These spots that were things, I can't apply any card effects to them. They're just in the way. So maybe I need to leave them alone because maybe the enemies can't get through them either. Or maybe they hinder the enemy's approach. Not sure which. And just to find out what air 
does to a whirlwind. We're gonna do that before we end our turn. I don't know what it did. Oh, it knocks back all en- Wow, all enemies knocked back by one tile? Ooh, we should keep these up front. Interesting. Okay. End my turn. Smiles. I don't know what that did. Should I be concerned? What did Smiles do? Can I look at your deck? I can't look at your whole deck. I can only look at what you're about to do next. And it's Smiles again, which makes me a little concerned. I never saw the movie Smile. I know it's got a sequel, but, you know. Um, all right. Okay, so it's currently... It is currently one AP, so I guess, did I do the right thing to combo it? So I'll try the Fireball Barrage. Actually, sorry, we should inhale first. Oh. Okay, so we actually need to do something first that allows this to be one. All right, so. Let's Fireball you. Okay, so we don't have enough for that. Let's find out what happens when we apply Earth to a tornado. Rockstorm. Rockstorm deals 10 damage to five random tiles adjacent to the tile. So putting a tornado in the middle of people and then hitting it with Earth could be fun. And now Fireball Barrage is. So let's go ahead and shot. Nice. Okay. Again, I don't know what Smiles does, and I have a small concern. Did you... Did, did, did you cause there to be gold in the middle of the field? Did you do that? Okay, Fireball Barrage is once again uh, one, so we're going to use that first. Okay, are you standing on lava? I hope so. You are, okay. You're gonna gain one move speed, so you're gonna be speedier. Oh, I don't like that. All right, how do I knock you all back one turn? Push the enemy by one turn, okay. Are you standing on earth? Apply earth, okay, so if I apply a whirlwind, oh here. Okay, that didn't do anything because it didn't. Alright. Okay, well let's inhale. Let's hit you with a fireball. Uh, let's see here. Earth with that deals 10 damage. So let's go ahead and avalanche you here. That'll deal 10 damage. And we'll apply a whirlwind there and end the turn. Again, I. Oh, this is just. Oh, crap. What? You know, I should have been paying attention to the 100. Should have been paying attention to the 100, because that's how much you attack for. Okay. Uh, you know, that's, um, yeah, that's, it's fine. It's just, it's just fine. It's fine. Um, it's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna create a tornado there. We're just going to hit you with every fireball we have. We're going to turn that into lava. And if I hit if I hit lava with fire, I gain 5 rage.
Uh, I am dead this next turn, so. Oh, I didn't get any rage. Did I not do it? Okay, well, yeah, nah, I'm good. I'm out, I'm done. Because you're next to me, so you're gonna hit me for an attack. And I'm out. Well, you know, all right. Okay, you got me. Uh, we did slay one little nerd. Um, all right. We gained XP for losing, so that's nice. And we gained a talent point, so... We unlocked cards. So launch a fireball into each lava tile. That's going to be interesting if we can get that. Uh, let's see. Create three fireball cards. Oh, I love cards that do this for free. That's nice. Uh, create two fire cards. They cost nothing this turn. So that could be any kind of fire cards, chances are. And then Ancient Scales. Gain 40 armor and then exhaust. That Ancient Scales may come in handy. Um, okay, so if I go into a new game. So I do have a talent tree. Um, the Fury Infusion. Ah, so I did get Rage, but I didn't have Rage unlocked. Um, and also behind me, there's an option to play the tutorial again. So if you just want to see how things go again, that's nice. You're probably, again, not going to beat the tutorial because it kicked my ass, but yeah. Um, so let's unlock that. And now we have... Okay, so we can start every combat with 50 rage. Our fire breath damage is increased by three. Or add one inflame. I don't know what an inflame card is. So um, the one thing that I would love to see in this um, as they move towards getting the, like, the actual version out is if something gives you a card or if something has an effect when you mouse over it, to have the card or have a detail of what it does pop up. So I'm gonna try the rage mechanic. I'll start every... Oh, is that it? I thought I could... Oh, that was the one I spent. Okay. And these are boss mechanics. What we currently have is... Scythian Eclipse. If you cast three different cards in one turn, Rockstorm gains plus five damage. Active during all three of your boss phases. Can we change these? We can. Um... Okay, so these change how much your fireball deals. These have achievements that you need to unlock them. Okay. These are interesting. So you have to unlock these. Um, I thought I did win a fight without losing HP. Oh, no, I didn't. Never mind. Um, okay, it's interesting. All right, so we'll try one more game. Uh, all right, before we did the captain, so why don't we do the huntress? Because I also like huntress. Helena Wayne. Oh, the huntress's first attack is to deal 15 damage to the boss. Unfortunately, for the purposes of this experiment, I'm the boss. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And there appears to be a persistent. Every every enemy gains plus three move speed and plus five attack at the start of the twelfth turn. So let's not let them get to the twelfth turn. Then I'm going to inhale. I'm going to hit you with a fireball. I'm going to hit you with another fireball so that now you're standing in lava. And I have the option. You're standing in lava, so if I hit you with earth, it's going to be a firebomb. If I hit you with air, I gain an I gain an attack point, but I only have one thing that costs. So So let's hit you with air first, just for funsies. And now let's hit you with a bomb. That did take away the end, but that's okay. All right, you're gonna deal 15 damage to me. So 
We're not getting through this without uh, without taking a hit. Okay. If I put air where you are and then fire, that's just going to apply. Okay, so not really helping. So I guess what I would want to do is I want to create lava, put air on it, get another point. So let's hit you with... Um, let's hit you with a firebrand. Hit you with a fireball. Throw a whirlwind on the tile. And then hit you with another fireball. What does fire do to lava? It gains rage. Okay. Okay, so now I have five rage. Um, when it's full, I can use it to deal five damage to heroes and five damage to other enemies. Okay, so we should be building up that rage. And you take damage because you were standing on the lava at the end of your turn. Okay, your next thing is an aimed shot. It's going to deal 15 damage to the boss, which I don't like because I'm the boss. Alright, so... We'll inhale. We will deal two damage. That adds more to my rage. We'll do another damage, adding more to my rage. If I put earth on that tile, that's going to be another firebomb, which is cool. And then we'll throw a whirlwind under you. Okay. Well, not fun for me, but thanks. Okay, so now... I think we'll just go ahead and do this. Do this to get another action point. And then throw two fireballs at you. That will also have you standing on lava at the end of the turn, so you will take some damage. But you won't take enough damage to die. But you will next turn, so... Okay, so you gain one attack, so you're doing... Okay, so now I'm in phase two. In phase two, I increase the attack of all my cards. So. Momentum. And... You die. Ooh, we got... What did we get? All right, uh, another random event. So let's just try moving further in this time. See, so yeah, this is not good to get these first. This is not good to get these first because we've not played enough of the game to know, but these are quizzes about the game. So if you know, then great. I don't know what the initial attack of Smile Man is, but the Scarecrow that tried to hurt me hit a hundred times each turn, so I'm going to say that. I guess that was right. Okay. I don't like that because the attack, the, the, the party was called, like, Bugaboo. It wasn't called Smile Man, so that confused me a little bit. Um, oop, a merchant. You... I should introduce you to Charon. Y'all might have a lot in common. Okay, so... Oh, okay, gold veins. So we actually do want gold veins on, on, the, on the field. Uh, I could get a relic. I think we'll take the relic. Lava tiles deal additional plus four damage. And that's it. We got a region reward because I, we took everything in the region. So, 
uh, we gain another um, an amulet. Lava plus fire gives five rage. I thought it already did. Hmm. All right. You're... I see. I should not maybe go out there just yet um, because you are rough. So let's take out this mage. Ah, oh, crap. You got a bunch of people on the field. I didn't like that. It's not cool. All right. Fine. Momentum. We have some gusts on the field. Do I want to apply anything to the gust? That's going to move the fire. Okay, so if I apply fire to the gust, it's going to move the fire around. That's not going to help me just yet. So. Let's see here. Earth on lava is a firebomb, so I may be able to... Hmm. Unfortunately, they are all in... Well, this could be an interesting move. Fireball there. I know it doesn't appear to do anything. And was it... Earth and lava? Yeah, okay, so another fireball... That gives me rage. But also, if I apply earth here... How do I trigger it, though? That's... Okay, that's interesting. Um, what I didn't know is you could actually click... You can click on the... On the tiles to see what they do. Okay, so it's rubble. If you add fire to it, it becomes soil. Earth becomes a boulder, and wind, it becomes soil. Okay, good to know. Deal six damage to all enemies. That sucks. Okay, well, that's one of you done. Um... Okay, you're standing in wind. Is that something I should do something about? Let's see, not not really. Well, I could do this. That'll push you back somewhere else at the end of the turn. But what I should be doing is focusing on you. You, buddy. if I hit a gust with fire? I don't know yet. What happens if you hit a tornado with fire? Let's find out. A fire vortex. Deals two damage to all enemies. Okay, it does like blow out the fire, but okay. I'm the worst. If you give me like, if you give me like a tech tree or a scumping tree to like discover, I'm like, okay, I have to know what these do now. Um, for instance, let's see here. Can I do this right? Okay, let's do this. Fire on a lava tile deals gives five rage. So let's do that. Uh, let's apply wind to get an additional action point. Let's apply, um, let's apply earth to one of these because we haven't had a boulder yet. And I'm curious what happens when fire hits a boulder. It turns into a firebomb. Excellent. Which means you are cooked at the end of this turn. So the firebomb just goes off, I guess, if it's not on somebody. Okay. Teleport to a random tile. If the soil... 
Okay, if it's soil, then... Okay, no. Hmm. Oh, wait. Are you in the right... You kind of are in the perfect positioning here. I ain't mad at that at all. Okay, in that case, we will put lava here. Apply whirlwind to get one more point. And then fireball. And you'll also get extra damage from standing in that at the end of your turn, right? Yes. No, sorry. Char doesn't do anything. Okay. You are going to deal 16 damage to me and 6 damage to all enemies, so this is going to probably send me into my next phase. Alright, so during my second phase, all of my cards get additional attack. I will inhale. Fire Breath will deal 8 damage. Um, okay, that gave me some rage. Again, uh, Whirlwind to get one point up. That way we'll hit you with a fireball. That'll give me some more rage. So I have 100 rage. On use, it deals 5 damage to heroes and 5 damage to other enemies. Um, I may as well try it now because I don't know how much I'm going to last. So, Okay, so it dealt 5 damage to everything. And then we need to create another boulder so we can see... Okay. Yeah, you're just going to keep doing a ton of damage to me, and I'm not a fan of this at all. Um, okay, so the thing it keeps doing is displace. If it, it teleports to a random tile, and if the tile is soil, it gains 10 attack. Yeah, that sucks. I don't, I don't like that at all. Uh, Alright, so let's see what happens if we apply air to soil. Whoa! Rockstorm. Rockstorm if you apply wind to a boulder tile and apparently just ends the like that's it done okay I'll take it what are what are you okay we get a relic earth plus boulder gives plus three armor firebomb damage is increased by plus one per each lava tile I think we'll try Earth plus Boulder it gives armor because we've never we've never experimented with having armor before. Um, it's a mystery. Okay, we'll try the mystery. Who knows what the future holds for you? It can be anything. This mystery just turned into an attack. Well, crap. Okay, uh, you are going to turn four tiles into holy tiles. I don't know what holy tiles do. What do you consider? You're considering grass. And your rubble. Okay, so. Guess we'll start with the classics. You're on. So if I hit you with fire, it just becomes soil. So, let's take you out. Uh, let's hit this whirlwind to make it a tornado. This and... Actually, we'll make two tornadoes on the field. Have I done that yet? Wait. Yeah. Okay. Well, two tornadoes on the field. You're going to hit me for 4, 8, 10, 18 damage. That's not great. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, you can't hit me. Be okay, I get it. Okay, what's a holy tile? Holy tile is a benefit for holy heroes cards. But I can remove these by hitting them with elements. So, rubble, gust, or puddle. But I need to turn... Um, Okay, let's do Firebrand to you. So you're sitting in some fire. Um, if I hit a tornado... See, if I hit a tornado with Earth, it'll become Rockstorm, but nothing's... Oh, then again... Oh, it didn't do damage to her. That's what I wanted. So it is random. Did you just put cards in my deck? You did. You put a curses in my deck. If this card is in hand at the end of turn, give a random enemy plus three max HP. Oh, that sucks. I'm never a fan of when they put stuff in your hand that, like, messes with you. I'm like, that's just mean. Okay, so let's deal six damage here. Um. Oh, sh also more of you showed up. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um. Okay, fireball there. And whirlwind. I mean, sadly, having extra attack points doesn't do any I wish that there were a way to, if you have more if you have more action points to to draw more cards. Doesn't look like it yet, so yeah. We might be in some trouble. Okay, give plus one plus one to all holy tiles. Okay, so. I just have to play this card to get rid of it, which sucks. Um, but let's see if I can at least get me... Hmm. All right, we'll apply Earth here. Because the one thing we don't know yet is what happens when you hit a boulder with Earth. We'll just get rid of the Holy Bind, because I ain't having that. And then, let's see here. What are you standing on? You're standing on lava. If I hit, if I hit lava with fire, then I gain more rage. So let's hit you again. Okay. Oh, that gave me one armor, so I can withstand one attack, maybe? Nope, one, one damage. Yeah, all right. It's not great. But finally, we get to see our last combo, which is Earth and a Boulder. So... Oh, if I apply Earth to Boulders, it gets me five armor. Hey, Cargenx, welcome on in. Okay, interesting. Um, all right, so we'll have to get rid of the Holy Bind, because... Uh, Inhale, and then fireball on you. That gives me some rage, and we'll end the turn. Alright. Oof. Okay, unfortunately the knights are in front now, and all they're gonna do is keep attacking me. So, and she's going to get reinforcements in a few turns. So this, this, this is not great all around for me, actually. Um, all right, fire breath. Can I hit both of you with one? Can't, so I'll do that. And fireball here, take you out. Whirlwind here to give me one more attack. 
and fireball here because I'm in my second phase now, so all of my attacks get plus one. And... Oh, I can turn your holy tile into a gust. Cool. All right. Yeah, get plus one to plus one to all allies per holy tile. Oh, see, that's... That's the crappy thing, is I need to get rid of the holy tiles because they're just going to keep messing with me. Huh, all right, more momentum. Let's see, you're standing on... So fire will make it soil. You're standing on lava, so... Let's use the rage to do five damage to everybody. Get rid of the holy bind. Let's see, you're standing on soil, so if I do earth, we'll make it a boulder. That'll give me one armor at the end of the turn. It's not much. Yeah, so her whole her whole deck yeah, I'm I'm gonna her whole deck thing is based on putting as many holy holy tiles on the field as possible and then using those holy tiles to empower other spell effects. It's very clever. Um, I think I'm just going to have to let this get exhausted, which sucks because I don't like that, but not like using it isn't helping. Um, all right, so let's... That gets me some gold. Yay! Um, put fire under you. Turn you into a tornado. And then if I do this, it's going to knock everybody back one tile. And then we'll just let somebody get that plus whatever. Gives to... Ah, uh, see, you're cursing me again. Yep, we're down. But that's okay. It's perfect timing because it's about time for me to add to run another ad. Um, we did conquer a territory. We took out a few heroes. Uh, we gained some XP. But sadly, I don't think we unlocked... No, we didn't uh, satisfy any of these requirements to unlock stuff. Um, but yeah, <laughs> right now our threat level is we are a novice boss. Yes, I am. I, I get you. Um, so yeah, this is Nunchal Intrude Descent. It is, um, uh, the Prelude's currently in the Steam store now, so you can take a look at that. It is the advanced version of the full Nunchal Intrude. You play a raid boss, so it's, if you kind of enjoy the, um, turn-based card deck battlers, you know, I would say similar to Slay the Spire, it's interesting, but it also... It's not exactly like a tower defense style, but you can use cards, you can use tiles on the field to impact your enemies or impact you. Um, but yeah, you play as the raid boss, which is probably why the music is so intense. Imagine having that as your background music all the time. I'd like that. Um, so yeah, that was Nunchal Intrude Descent. Take a look at it in the Steam store if you are intrigued.